so I'm halfway up. I can do this. Yeah, that was something new. <laughs> For whatever is there to come. An elevator. Let it work, let it work. Precision arrows will be useful. Okay, that's it. Right there. Got it. Nice. All the lever and hope. <laughs> Up to me to stop a Sarah now. I can't fail. She can't be allowed to kill again. Be ready, Reyes. No turning back now. So is Arena. Right where you wanted me, eh, yes, Sarah? Reyes! Your people threw mine into this ring, sacrificed them to machines in the name of the sun. Now it's your turn, Shadow Martha. Sun and Shadow! A fire claw! Let's see. Right on top. There goes a gun. He's good so far. Finish this! Fast! 
God, to the cure! I'm alive. But this place is falling apart. Gotta run and get to a Sarah. That was cute. Um, I had to tell if it was too easy or not, like... Maybe I'm just too familiar with the mechanics at this point. Bye. Oh, not me as well. You're too far anyways. Karja have the power over my life. My death is my own. Ah! Sarah! Screw her, dude. At least Meridian has been. Someone down there. They're Karja. Hold on! We'll get you up! You killed a Sarah. She fell. But you saw the body. I saw her fall down a mountain. The attack has been stopped. The lures destroyed. The Sundom has been saved. From this threat, at least. The story works better if it was already the Arrow of the Sun. I cannot take this praise. You think people would believe Edom and Shadow stopped a Sarah? All the people of the Sundom can learn about what happened here is that a few errant machines were stopped. We cannot let our enemies know that such power exists, or others will seek it. Whatever is said, we know the truth. Reyes, you could return to Meridian. I think it's time to leave my past behind. True. But perhaps some doors can be opened if we let it be known that Edom and Shadow died in Sunstone Rock. That the soldier who stands here was held by the Shadow Kaja and has now been released back into the light. You are free to explore the Sundom, Reyes. Though I may call upon your services again. Horrid. Father would be proud. <laughs> Father would be furious. Father was an ass. <laughs> Runs in the family. Uh. Walk in the light, Reyes. Oh, I'm not leaving. Someone's got to keep an eye on you. All right, well, that was pretty much it. <laughs> Since it's a first game, actually, that I ever played on PSVR 2, and I fully went into it with the new technology and storyline, there are a couple notes, though. Like, the game altogether is pretty awesome. Like, it gives you an impression that it's a next generation of virtual reality. But it's the most scripted game I've ever played in terms of the movement. Combat is fine, but sometimes where I thought I would jump or go, that would make sense, but the game didn't let me to do it. So it's very much take me by your hand and linear experience. There's no debate, the graphic level design is absolutely crazy, like, I can absolutely see why the World of Horizon is so fascinating and now seeing it with my own eyes, <laughs> like, it's amazing. I think during the playthrough I had more problems with the actual headset and the comfortability of it rather than the actual game. It's not like it sabotaged it, but I learned a couple stuff during that and I'm gonna carry it over toward the next playthrough stuff we're gonna be making. I want to do the Safari and the Challenge Hub and I think that will be the actual end of the whole playlist. The storyline was very light, like, it kind of introduced you to the world of Horizon, but it was not something like, you know, very aspiring or very thoughtful. It was just like a cute side storyline besides the main protagonist of the game, which, where was she? She was only once in the whole <laughs> experience, like, okay. Regardless of nitpicking some stuff, like, I'm very glad I bought this headset and let's see what else there to come. 